Hey there YouTube, welcome back. Uh, today we have a different type of video. Yeah, you know, I'm switching it up a little bit. But I think it's for the best. Today we have a B1A unit. Now these typically came in the sea rations or meal combat individuals. Now this one's from 1969, right around the time of the Vietnam War era. Yeah, typically they have the contents written right on the top. This one doesn't have it, so it's kind of a mystery what it contains. Usually they have crackers or cocoa beverage powder, candy, cookies, stuff like that. So yeah, we'll uh, find out what this one has. And uh, yeah. All right, this one was kindly sent in by uh, Old Smokey. It's a very nice can. So I'll just open it from the bottom and uh, maintain the top, which is in pristine condition. I have my handy P38 can opener, which I carry on my keychain. Yeah, let's, uh, let's open it up. Let's see if we hear a hiss. I don't hear a hiss, but uh, it doesn't matter. that the inside is in mint condition that's a very shiny metallic inside let's, uh, let's get this ready right, right off the bat it smells kind of sweet This was here. I'm getting this kind of a chocolatey sweet smell coming out of it. It's really plastic on this side. Right, so we have some cookies, some crackers. You can see these crackers are salted. See the salt crystals. So you get one, two, three, four of them. Got more uh, shock protection. See how clean that looks. It's perfect. And this must be the source of the chocolate smell. This is a candy chocolate disc, sweet milk with almonds. I don't know if you guys can see that, but uh, it's a very shiny aluminum type of uh, wrapper. And this one is the exact same thing. get these opened up all right there's nothing left to do but try some really old crackers and some really old chocolate discs so yeah let's start with the crackers as I mentioned earlier they're uh, salted now let's try out this almost 50 year old cracker <laughs>
Mm. Yeah, that's actually pretty good. It uh, kind of tastes like overbaked bread. You know, it's got that slight charred or burnt taste to it. Salty. It's got a hint of the chocolate disc. For some reason, uh, yeah, for being almost 50 years old, that's not bad at all. <laughs> yeah, I think I'll have another bite. Yeah, I'm extremely surprised. These are in uh, perfect shape. They're very crunchy. The saltiness is uh, it's actually very satisfying. I would say the taste leans more towards a pretzel. It's very salty. It's got this uh, burnt, charred taste to it. But yeah, for surviving uh, almost 50 years, this cracker is in uh, perfect shape. All right, let's check out the chocolate discs. Yeah, it looks like it's in good shape. You can see a little bit of discoloration, but uh, it's not too bad. Crumbles easily. Yeah, the almonds look like they're in pretty good shape. They're not dark. Yeah, let's uh, give it a bite. Yeah, that's not bad at all. It, uh, they're a bit stale. It's still pretty good, I would say. No bad aftertaste. Very sweet, uh, chocolatey. It's got a whole lot of almonds in it. My tongue doesn't feel numb, so these are the best chocolate discs I've had. I've had some uh, LRP ones. Yeah, this chocolate disc thing is uh, still in pretty good shape. All right, that was quite the experience. I would say this was the B1A unit from 1969 with uh, four crackers and two chocolate discs. A very interesting bit of history, I would say. Everything was pretty much edible. The crackers were crunchy and salty. The chocolate discs were chocolatey and sweet and a bit on the stale side, but overall everything was edible, which is very astonishing. I can't believe it, but uh, yeah, that's uh, something I wanted to share with you guys. Yeah, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. And as always, thank you guys for watching and see you soon.